Welcome back to Kids Pointing. I'm Peyton. And I'm Jared. And today we're going to teach you how to play Umbrivia! Umbrivia is an area control game from Pandasaurus Games and designer Connor Wake, where players compete to create and control paths with their flower tokens. The game includes the main board and the altar board, placement order counters, Player screens, bidding boards, path tiles, energy and soul flowers, bags, and four soul tiles. The energy flowers are the dark ones, and the soul flowers are the lighter ones. So for the red player, these are their energy flowers, and these are their soul flowers. The game is played over a series of rounds, and in each round, players will be blind bidding on path tiles to see who gets to place each tile. The goal of the game is to be the first player to claim all of their soul flowers and their soul tile. We're showing the rules for three to four players, but you can find the modified two player rules in the rule book. To set up the game, put the main board in the middle of the table and put the altar board above it. Then shuffle the path tiles and put them in a face down pile. Each player picks a color and takes their bag, energy flowers, soul flowers, bidding board, and screen. Next, put one energy flower from each player in random order on the tiebreaker track on the side of the altar board. Then put everyone's soul tile near the board with 11 soul flowers on it, and then everyone puts the rest of their energy flowers and soul flowers in their bag. We only showed a few earlier, but the game has 33 energy flowers and 17 soul flowers of each color, so we put 6 soul and 32 energy flowers in each bag. Now it's time to play. Even though there's two of us, we're still going to set up three players. And we're not going to use the player screen so you can see what we're doing. During the game, players will be placing tiles on the board to either create, extend, or complete paths. Once a path is completed, players will earn soul tiles based on the length of their path and who has the most energy flowers on the path. Players will bet on tiles to see who gets to place each one. And when the tile is placed on the board, the energy flowers that were used for bidding stay on the tile. The game is played over rounds. Each round has three phases, setup, bidding, and placement. To set up the round, place four random tiles on the altar board, face up. Do not rotate any of the tiles. If the draw pile is ever empty, just shuffle the discard pile to refill it. Next is the bidding. There are two rounds of bidding each round. Usually, players will hide their bidding boards behind their screens to keep it a secret from the other players, but we're going to let you see what we're doing for this video. First, each player blindly draws three flowers from their bag. Then they use those three flowers to bid on the path tiles. The bidding boards have four spaces, one, two, three, and four. And those match up to the four path tiles, one, two, three, and four. The lighter color soul flowers give you two points, and you have to use all three flowers when you're bidding. Once everyone has their bids, they remove their screens to show the other players how they bid, and then everyone puts their flowers on the tiles they bid on. Next, you're gonna do a second round of bidding the exact same way. Draw three flowers and secretly put them on your bidding board, then reveal your bids and put the flowers on the path tiles. After two rounds of bidding, you move to the placement phase, where you see who won each tile and place them on the board. First, if any tiles have no bids, those would go in the discard pile. All the tiles have bids, so that doesn't apply right now. Then use the one through four tokens to assign the placement order, going from the tile with the fewest flowers to the tile with the most flowers. So these tiles both have two, and when there's a tie, you go from left to right. So this is number one, and this is number two. And that means this one is third, and this one gets fourth. Then you see who won each tile. Starting with the number one tile, see who has the most points on that tile. Remember, the lighter colored soul flowers count as two points for bidding. So on this tile, these two flowers are tied because they both have two points. So when there's a tie, check the tiebreaker track. Whoever's highest on the track wins the tie, and they move to the bottom of the track, and anyone below them moves up. Once you know who won, remove any soul flowers from the tile and put them back in the box. They won't be used again for the rest of the game, but leave all of the energy flowers on the tile. In this case, there were only two soul flowers on the tile, so they both get removed, but purple still gets to place the tile. The player who won the tile gets to place it on the board. When you place a tile, do not rotate it. It has to stay in the same orientation as it was on the altar board. When you're placing a tile, if there's no other tiles on the board, then the tile has to go in one of the four center spaces. Otherwise, it just has to go next to another tile so that the two tiles share an edge. But you do not have to match up the paths if you don't want to. 
After the first tile is placed, see who won the next tile, remove any sew flowers, and the winner places the tile. And you do this for all four tiles. Remember, leave all energy flowers on the tile when you're putting it on the board. And do not rotate the tiles. Now, every time you place a tile on the board, you need to check to see if it completes a path. Meaning, the path has no open sides to it. A completed path could be one in the corner, like this, or multiple tiles put together. If there are any open sides that a tile could still be added onto, then the path is not complete. If you have a completed path, you do a summoning. Count everyone's energy flowers on the completed path, but only the completed path. Ignore all the other paths on the board. So on this path, purple has four, orange has five, red has seven. So red wins this path. Whoever wins the path gets one soul flower for each tile on the path. In this case, that's three soul flowers. They take those from their soul tile and add them to the bag. Whoever is ranked second gets half the number of the soul flowers that the winner got, rounded down. So since the winner got three, second place gets half that rounded down, which is one. And third place gets zero, since half of one rounded down is zero. If there's a tie, then both tied players would get the full reward they would get. So if two people tie for first on a four tile path, they will both get four soul flowers. Then the next person will be treated like third place, since there were two people ahead of them. After everyone gets their soul flowers, everyone takes their energy flowers from the completed path only and puts them back in their bags. Then discard the tiles from the completed path. Leave all the other paths and energy flowers on the board. When a path is completed, you do the summoning and scoring right away. Don't wait until the end of the round. After the summoning is finished, go back to placing any remaining tiles from the altar board. And once all the tiles are placed, put four more tiles on the altar board and start the next round. And keep doing this until the end of the game is triggered, which happens when someone claims their soul tile. The soul tile is the last piece you need to climb to win the game. It counts as two soul flowers and can be claimed as part or all of your reward during a summoning. But there's a few conditions. First, it has to be empty, so you would have to collect all your other soul flowers. Second, you have to win the path, so you have to have the most energy flowers. And third, it has to be at least two tiles long. The first person to meet all these conditions and claim their soul tile wins the game! Once you're familiar with how the game plays, you can add in the special path tiles. Just shuffle them in with the regular path tiles at the beginning of the game. There's three special tiles. The black tile just takes up a space on the altar board. Players can't bid on it, so when bidding is done, just discard it. The four-point tile and void tile are bid on just like normal path tiles. When the four-point tile is placed in an empty space, the person placing it picks an adjacent tile to move all of the energy flowers onto. If I was placing this tile here, I could move all of the flowers either here or here. This tile doesn't connect to any path, and when any adjacent path is completed and cleared, this tile gets removed as well. And when someone wins the void tile, they choose any empty space on the board and place all of the energy flowers from that void tile onto that space. Then when a path tile is placed on that space, all the flowers on that space go on that tile. And remember, if you want to play with two players, you can find the rules for the two player variant in the rule book. And that's Umbravia. If you have any questions or if you have a game you want us to teach, leave us a comment. Thanks for watching. And be sure to subscribe right here and watch our other videos over here. See you later. Bye. Bye.